Hello everyone, welcome back to Seek and Find Learning. So today in this video we will try to learn more about the health, diseases, cognitive organisms and also some vaccines in uh, MCQs and also adding some previous year questions. Since COVID-19 is the most occurring topic in news, so I'll be focusing more on it. So without wasting much time, let's start. Question number one. AIDS, common cold, dengue fever and influenza are examples of. The options are um, deficiency disease, infectious diseases, physiological diseases and non-infectious diseases. So the correct answer is option B, that is infectious diseases infectious diseases are disorders caused by organisms such as bacteria viruses fungi or parasites and some infectious diseases can be passed from person to person so it can be communicable question number two which of the following is are the symptoms of black fungus the statements are facial swelling nasal congestion headache and the options are only one both two and three only two and one two and three so the correct answer is option d that is one two and three since we have seen a lot about uh, the black fungus in news uh, the other name of black fungus is mucormycosis it is mucormycosis so if it is given as mucormycosis, you should not be confused about it. The symptoms uh, of black fungus includes facial swelling, nasal congestion, um, and headache. And if the lungs are infected, then the symptoms include fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Question number three. Night blindness is caused due to the deficiencies of? The options are vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, and vitamin E. So the correct answer is option A, that is vitamin A. Vitamin A deficiency can also lead to night blindness and vitamin A is also called as retinol. It is also called as retinol. And it plays a role in transforming nerve impulses into images in the retina. And the retina is a light sensitive area in the back of our eyes. Question number four One health approach targets the options are animals, humans, option three is both, and option four, none. So um, the correct answer is option three, that is both. One health is the collaborative efforts of multiple disciplines working locally, nationally, and globally to attain optimal health for people, um, animals, and even our environment, as defined by the One Health Initiative Task Force. And One Health model facilitates um, interdisciplinary approach in disease control so as to control emerging and existing zoonotic traits. Question number five, consider the following statements. When a virus does not change, it is called a mutation. So uh, focus on the statement does not change. So this statement is wrong. And the second statement is a virus with one or more new mutations is known as a variant of the original virus. So this statement is right. Um, the question is which of the following statements is are correct. So it is asking the correct statement the option a is only one option b only two option c bought one and two option d neither one nor two so the correct answer is option b that is only two um, mutation actually happens when a virus replicates and makes copies of itself sometimes changes a little bit which is normal for a virus so these changes are known as mutations but here the statement says does not change and um and a virus with a uh, one or more new mutations is known as a variant of the original virus question number six 
Goiter and uh, enlarged thyroid gland are mainly diagnosed in patients with deficiencies of which of the following minerals? The options are iron, iodine, calcium, and phosphorus. So the correct answer is option B, that is iodine. Um, without adequate iodine, the thyroid progressively enlarges. Um, uh, it develops as a goiter as it tries to keep up with the demand for thyroid hormone production. And iodine deficiency is the most common cause of thyroid enlargement and goiter. Question number seven. Where was the Kappa variant of COVID first found? The options are UK, Australia, India and Pakistan. So the correct answer is option three, that is India. WHO, that is the World Health Organization named COVID-19 variants first found in India as Kappa and Delta. So remember that Kappa and Delta are the COVID-19 variants that are first found in India. Question number eight. Penicillin was discovered by the options are Alfred Nobel, Alexander Fleming, Louis Pasteur, and S.A. Waxman. So um, here we can see that uh, Alfred Nobel is recognized for inventing the dynamite. So remember this as well. And Louis Pasteur for pasteurization. And S. A. Waxman is recognized for the discovery of streptomycin. Streptomycin. And Alexander Fleming, uh, he was a Scottish physician and a scientist who is recognized for discovering penicillin. So the correct answer is option B, that is Alexander Fleming. Question number nine. Which one of the following diseases is caused by protozoans? The options are malaria, influenza, AIDS, and cholera. So the correct answer is option A, that is malaria. And uh, influenza is caused by um, the infection of the respiratory tract uh, with influenza virus. So influenza is caused by virus. AIDS is also caused by virus. AIDS stands for acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. And uh, cholera. Cholera is an acute um, diarrheal illness caused by the vibrio cholerae, that is, bacteria. So cholera is caused by bacteria. Question number 10. Which of the following vitamins help in blood clotting? The options are vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, and vitamin K. So the correct answer is option D, that is vitamin K. Vitamin K is also known as phyloquinone. Phyloquinone. Vitamin K is one of the fat-soluble vitamins and it helps with uh, blood clotting. And um, vitamin K helps uh, our blood to clot, that it means uh, it thickens the blood to stop bleeding question number 11 which one of the following are vaccines manufactured by india the options are covaxin covishield both and none so the correct answer is option three that is both covaxin and covishield both are manufactured in india but um, the India's first indigenous COVID vaccine is developed by the uh, Corona vaccine manufacturer Bharat Biotech and that is Covaxin. So this is India's first indigenously manufactured vaccine. So don't get confused with it. Question number 12. Which of the following statements is are correct about febipiravir? So it is asking the correct statement. 
The first statement is Febipiravir is an antiviral COVID-19 drug. So this statement is right. Um, option B, Glenmark Pharmaceuticals under the brand name Febiflu has launched an antiviral drug Febipiravir. So this statement is also right. And option C, it is India's first COVID-19 drug launch priced at Rs. 103 per tablet. So this statement is also right. And the correct answer is option D, that is all the above are correct. Febipiravir is an antiviral COVID-19 drug um, and the Glenmark Pharmaceuticals under the brand name Febiflu has launched it as an antiviral drug Febipiravir. And remember that it is India's first COVID-19 drug launch and it was priced at Rs. 103 per tablet. Question number 13. Name a clinical trial in which blood is transfused from recovered COVID-19 patient to a coronavirus patient who is in critical condition. The options are plasma therapy, solidarity, remdesivir and hydroxychloroquine. So the correct answer is option A that is plasma therapy. Plasma therapy or convalescent plasma therapy is a clinical trial in which uh, blood is transfused from recovered COVID-19 patient to a coronavirus patient who is in critical condition. Question number 14. Which of the following diseases are related to coronavirus? The options are MERS, MARS, uh, which stands for Middle East, Respiratory Syndrome, and SARS stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. So the correct answer here is option C, that is both A and B. Coronavirus may cause illness from the common cold to more other serious diseases like the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. So they are somehow related to each other. Question number 15. Where did coronavirus got its name from? The options are due to their crown-like projections, um, due to their leaf-like projections, due to their surface structure of bricks, and option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option A, due to their crown-like projections. Um, uh, due to the crown-like projections on the surfaces, coronavirus got their name. And the virus resembles a crown when viewed under an electron microscope. Corona in Latin uh, means halo or... So that's all for today. And if you find any errors or mistakes in my videos, then please feel free to drop a comment. Your corrections, suggestions and feedbacks are welcomed. And for PDFs, please go to my Telegram channel and download it from there. The link of my Telegram channel has been given in the description below. So thanks for watching and God bless you all.